Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Retro and welcome to another weekly finds video. Um, this week I don't have a lot, but I do have some very special stuff. And um, I tried to not buy a lot this week, save up some money because there's three more retro conventions coming up in the next month. And uh, I need the ching ching dollar cash for that. So, three Game & Watches. First one is Donkey Kong and this has two problems. First, the closing lid is broken. It does have the serial and the uh, battery lid. And also the up button doesn't work. So basically you get to here and then you're stuck. Um, I haven't had this before, this problem, so I'm not sure if it's repairable. If you do have experience with this, please let me know if this is, uh, uh, if, if this is fixable. And if not, I'm probably gonna sell it as a display piece because you cannot play it at this moment. Then we have boxing. This is one of the micro versus systems, and uh, this one works, yeah, pretty well. Has two of those little controllers that are quite hard to get in nicely. So I'm just going to open this tiny bit so you can see there are the two controllers, and getting those in place nicely with it closing is uh, not too easy. And then there's this one. I had this for a long, long time, traded it away, but the guy kind of got regrets, so I got it back again. It's in okay condition. It's not super, but um, it's not horrible either. It's it's in decent condition and uh, definitely good enough for my collection, at least that was until I got a better version. The next few things you're gonna see are all promotional PlayStation stuff and um, I got this from a guy in the UK that was selling um, yeah, a set of press kits, promo discs, etc. And I basically just bought it because it had one item that I'm missing and um, it's to complete a set I have, I'll show you that later. But I didn't even know what the rest was, uh, didn't even look at it to be honest. But it does have some really cool stuff. So the first thing is MotorStorm Arctic Edge and this is the promo version. Retro Games Badge Pack. Yeah, don't have a backpack anymore so. Uh, Ratchet and Clank 3 postcards and there's a bunch of these. Let's see, it's at least four or five of them. Then Shinobi Martial Art. This is a little art book on uh, the Shinobi PlayStation 2 game. And it's also promotional. I have two of these. Then a whole bunch of these. Forbidden Siren 2 Blood Packs. I think there was a demo in here, but they're not included anymore. Or the promo, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't have this for my collection, so I'm at least keeping one, but I don't need a dozen. So if you do have this promo, demo, whatever this comes with, uh, let me know. I'll uh, trade these uh, cheap. I wonder if these get broken easily in the po in the mail though. Wonder if these uh, just imagine that these are in an envelope it breaks and the mailman gets all the blood on his hands. Then the next thing that was in there and I almost threw away the envelope, but when I took a closer look, I'm not supposed to throw that away. It's supposed to be like that. Um, where's my kit, you fat bastard by Mark Hammond. Didn't ring a bell for me, but when I checked the contents I know that I already have this, but not in English, so I'm keeping this and uh, putting away, doing a, trading away my German version. And it's supposed to come with the envelope because this is the getaway press kit. Really cool. There's at least three or four different promo slash press kits for the getaway, and I think I have them all, but I'm not 100% sure. Then some more promotional random things. This is a mouse pad on New York Race inspired by the fifth element and it has fluid in there and some of those moving New York race thingies it looks like they're all stuck yeah they do move but not a lot then another mouse pad from Rain of Fire and this is really small so that's really not a good mouse pad and then another one on siphon filter the Omega strain not sure if these are mouse pads or uh, countertop um, things but at least they're promotional items then another bag of promotional stuff. This is X-Men 2 and it just has the characters from the movie. So I don't think this has to do with a game. This is a movie promotional pack. I actually, I, I did see this movie but I don't quite remember. I remember the first X-Men really well and the later ones but 2 and 3 are kind of a blur to me. Should re-watch those. I love those superhero movies. So this is non-gaming, but it's cool. It's a superhero, and I like superheroes as well. 
Next thing in the package was this SCPH1035 FA0EX, aka PlayStation 2 hard drive. Oh, there you have it. This is the hard drive. And uh, most of the times, this is used to uh, mod your PlayStation 2 so you can play uh, backup games. I'm just gonna keep this because I didn't have a PlayStation 2 hard drive, but I'm not gonna use it for backing for playing modded games because I have over a thousand original games. Why would I play backup games? Actually, I just said to you guys that this is the hard drive, but what the box says is that it's the net network adapter beta beta version. So that makes it a lot more interesting. But like I just showed you guys, it does say HDD hard disk drive. So. To be honest, I know a lot about PlayStation 2 games, but not a lot about PlayStation 2 peripherals. So, if you guys could help me out on this, I think it's the hard drive, because it blatantly says that, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to come in this box, or this is a beta version or something. I honestly do not know. So if you could help me with this, please let me know. There was also a set of random games and promos in, uh, in the set that I bought, and uh, these are them, of course. Uh, Music Generator 3 Limited Edition. GT4 BMW series virtual drive, so that's Grand Theft, uh, Gran Turismo 4, sorry. Destruction Derby 2, but this looks like a normal version of the game. Not sure why that was in there. Secret Agent Clank, Ghostbusters the video game, Alfred Chicken. These are really blue, let's see what's inside. Res, really cool game. Ico. Also a really cool game. Um, this is 100 years of Australian football for press use. Right. Parasite Eve 2, Galerians. I'm Jammer Lammy. This is uh, also a game from the Parappa the Rapper universe. So these are the two Parappa the Rapper games for the PlayStation 1. And then the last item from this, oh wait, there's something more. I thought we were already at the last one, but there's also this SOCOM headset that's really tangled up. And the last one, which was actually my main reason for buying it, the Killzone press kit. It's missing the t-shirt, but it has the press assets. I have a complete set, but without the press assets, so add these two. I have a complete set and a spare incomplete one that uh, probably someone else is interested in. That was my main reason for buying this set, and all the other things are just cool things extra. I know it's been a while, but the finale of this video is not PC related. And usually the best game I get every week is some really rare PC game. This time there's only one rare PC game here in the bottom. Um, but first some random bits and pieces. Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories, um, complete Game Boy version. Lotus 2 Rex, put, uh, had that in my collection, decided to uh, yeah, to put it away. Metal Gear Solid 2, I kept that for my collection, turns out I already had it. And Dungeon Siege 2, I have a better version now for my collection. Then there's the Elder Scrolls Daggerfall. If you've seen my collection um, collector's dilemma video, you know that I have this one already, but it has a really dirty spot on the front. I decided to keep that one because I love the box front. It has some amazing artwork and also glitter. And that looks just cool. Now I have a good one, so that ugly one can go and this good one goes into my collection. Really happy to have a nice and complete set now. Then we're off to a whole bunch of PlayStation stuff and it's all rare. So I came in contact with a guy that bought up an old store and uh, he had a crap load of PlayStation 2 games, also some PSP and PlayStation 3. Um, the games you saw in the last video, Persona 4, uh, Soul Eaters, and Soul Nomad, and uh, Dragon Sisters were also from him. But after I got those, he said, well, I have a lot more. Check out these lists. And all the games you're going to see next uh, came from that list. And there are some amazingly rare titles in there. And remember, everything is sealed, official seal, and in mint new condition. First for the PSP, Holy Invasion of Privacy Batman, what did I do to deserve this? I believe this game got re-released under a different name because there were some uh, controversies around the Batman name. Then Parapon 3, uh, I already have part 1 and part 2, didn't even know there's a part 3. 
and so this completes the set. Then for the PlayStation 3, this Gaia 3 Absence of Justice, Star Ocean, The Last Hope International, and Hyperdimension Neptunia. So now off to the PlayStation 2. On top of the pile I put Persona 4 because I already showed you one of these last week, so that's nothing super special anymore. Then we have Magna Carta, Global Defense Force. By the way, most of these games are either from 505 Game Street, which is a publisher with really low print runs and some incredibly rare games, and Essential Games, uh, pretty much the same story. Then Okami, like I said before, one of the best Zelda type games, um, and I think it's better than most Zelda games. Digital Devil Saga 2, Shin Megami Tensei, also sealed of course. This guy had 2, Cursed Memories. Soul Divide, which is a shoot 'em up game, I believe. Let me see. No, it's not a shoot 'em up game. This one is a shoot 'em up game, Homura. And after Homura, we get two incredibly rare games to have in sealed, so that's why I'm sneakily hiding them. And uh, Homura is actually a really fun shoot 'em up game that only got released in Japan if it wasn't for 505 Game Street that took this release to Europe. Then we have Shadow of the Colossus. This is a game that was um, not super hard to find but always quite expensive because of its popularity but still finding it complete and sealed that is uh, quite a rare thing. This is a game that will probably be... Uh, it actually took a dive in price when the HD re-releases came for PlayStation 3 but I think on the long run this one will be a very valuable one. Then the last game is Fire Pro Wrestling Returns. This is considered at least top 5 rarest PlayStation 2 games, uh, at least in Europe, among with other rarities such as Space Channel 5 Part 2 and uh, Ocean Commander. I already have both versions, there is a Spanish version and a Portuguese version. This is the Spanish, I think, is that a Spanish flag? No, this is actually Italian. So there's a third version, I didn't even know that. Then I have to keep them all. But this is Fire Pro Wrestling sealed. I don't think I've seen a sealed copy before. I'm uh, really happy to have this because my PlayStation 2 collection has been on the low for very, very long because there aren't a lot of games that I'm still looking for and these sealed games really add a nice uh, touch to my already quite nice PlayStation 2 collection if I may say so myself. So that was it for this week. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you want to see more, check out the channel and like me on facebook.com slash drretromd. And uh, as always, I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.